Paul Martin pledged to not talk about Brexit or Donald Trump in his live improvisation show as he wanted to have fun. Mr. Martin, 64, returns to screens tonight at 8 p.m. alongside wife Suki Webster, 56, in Channel 5's Motorhoming with Merton and Webster. Over six episodes, the pair embrace Britain's booming motorhoming scene while seeking out the UK's most renowned sites. Tonight's episode follows Mr. Merton and Ms. Webster as they venture into Wales and the Brecon Beacons National Park. After a breathtaking drive along the ancient Roman roads of Sarn Helen, the pair go sheep trekking. The comedian couple have been married since 2009 and have worked together on projects including the 2019 improvisational stage comedy, My Obsession, which was also aired on BBC Radio 4. Mr. Merton, who starred in the show written by his wife, banned any improvisation on Brexit or Donald Trump while performing. He told Lorraine Kelly in a 2019 interview. It's very rare for two stories not to go away and obviously Trump and Brexit won't go away. I would get a big cheer at the top of the show when I say, there are two topics we're not going to improvise on tonight, it is a Brexit-free zone. There would be, huge cheers. And then when Trump was over I would say we're not going to talk about Trump. What we tend to do, is an antidote to that stuff. Mr. Merton is best known for his 31 years as a team captain on Have I Got News For You. Alongside Ian Hislop, 61. The show has provided a platform for both team captains to be deeply critical of Brexit and Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Mr. Merton also called Mr. Trump a magnificent idiot during the former U.S. president's campaign for office in 2016. Yet the comedian, who has made a career of satirizing major political events, claimed that he switches himself off from the grim news. He said, Brexit and Trump, reminds me of when the Falklands War kicked off. I could see Grimm reporting every day and decided I want nothing to do with it. And then it was easy, I just turned off the telly and didn't buy a newspaper.